drawing ray diagram for uh, concave lanes. So again, we have three rules. Uh, three rules. Rule number one. Okay, if a light ray passes through the optical centers of the lanes, it will not be refracted. Okay, this is the optical center. Uh, if the light ray passes through the optical center, there's no refractions. Uh, it will not be refracted. Second. If the light ray parallel to the principal axis, this is the principal axis, eh? this light ray parallel to the principal axis, it will be refracted away from the principal focus. It's refracted away. Eh? This is the principal focus. It looks like this light is come from the principal focus. For con convex lens, it will be refracted towards the principal focus, eh? but for concave lens, it will be refracted looks like it's coming out from the principal focus and the third rule uh, the light ray moving towards the optical center um, this not, not optical center is the principal focus eh? to the principal focus so cancel the optical center it will be refracted parallel to the principal axis okay the light ray move towards the principal focus after refracted it will be parallel to the principal Axis. So these are the three rules uh, to draw the ray diagram for. Uh, okay, this one is also wrong. This is concave lanes. Uh. This one is concave. Uh. Concave lanes. Okay, concave lanes. Let's see this example. Uh. These examples, if they give you a, a concave lanes and then there's an object here and then they would like you to draw the ray diagram. Okay, the first rule. The first rule says that the light ray passes through the optical centers. Uh, the lens will not be refracted. And then uh, the second rule says that if the light ray parallel to the principal axis, then it will be refracted like it's coming out from the principal focus. Okay. Actually, two rules is already enough. Huh? But if you want to use the three rules, it's fine. Okay. The light ray move towards the principal focus it will be refracted parallel to the principal axis so after the, you have all these three lines okay so you have these three lines okay this one you need to extend it backwards so that uh, it intersect with the other lines okay the points of intersection is the positions of the image yeah? so the image is here so this one's it, it diverge okay so we uh, we extend the lines backwards. This one also we extend the line backwards. Okay, at the points of uh, intersections, uh, point of intersection that is the uh, positions of the image. Okay, so the image is here. So uh, the image form, the image form is uh, because same side as the object. Uh, the object here, the image is here. Okay, so uh, then it's virtual. Okay, because this image cannot form on the screen. And then uh, compared to this one is uh, smaller, okay. And as compared to this one is upright. So that is the characteristics of the image, and you need to memorize this. It's virtual, smaller, and upright. Uh? Okay, the image formed by uh, concave lanes. Uh? This one changed to concave lanes. Uh? This is con. Is smaller and uh, diminished is the same? Yes, smaller and diminished is the same. So let's draw the ray diagram. Yeah, for this one, eh? as I told you before, eh? if you want to draw the ray diagram, you need to have three points, eh? three points. Okay, let's start from here. Okay, so this is the first point. We choose this one. Okay, so we want it to pass through the optical center. And if you want, you can take this as the, the third point. Eh? Okay, so this point, this point and this point. Uh, then we can start drawing the line, joining the three points. So this is the ray. Okay, first rule. Second rule, parallel to the principal axis, then it will be refracted, looks like moving away from the principal focus. And here it should be a dashed line. Okay, so first rule uh, passes through the optical center, no refraction. Second rule. Now, second rule that so you see, uh, I draw the refracted lines at the center axis uh, of the centers of the uh, lanes uh, okay because sometimes students they don't know where to draw uh, they don't know whether this, they should start drawing here or here or here okay we draw at the center okay we draw at the center so the light ray come from 
f uh, okay so we extend it backwards and at the points of intersections is the image uh, so it means that the image form here this is the image okay so the image form here so from here we can see that the image is smaller upright uh, and then it's virtual virtual because it's same size as the object 